In this video, you'll learn how to create design option sets and design options. You'll also see how to control the elements in the design options and create dedicated views for the design options. Design options allow you to consider multiple design alternatives in the same Revit project. We'll take a look at a simple example here. To begin, on the Manage tab, in the Design Options panel, you can click Design Options, or on the Status bar, there's also a Design Options button and some other Design Options controls when Design Options are active. Clicking Design Options opens the Design Options dialog. First, you need to create an option set. So under Option Set, I'll click New. An option set is the area of the building where you are going to have multiple design alternatives. You don't necessarily want to have entire buildings in an option set. You just want to have specific areas of a building. For example, we'll take a look at different entryway design options here. When you select an option set, you can then create new design options. So I'll click new under option. And now I have option set one and I can rename it. I'll click rename and I'll change the name to entry. And then I'll click OK. And now we have an option one and an option two. And you can also rename the design options. So right now, option one is the primary option. And I will click close to close the design options dialog. And now we can see the other controls are active on the status bar, as well as in the design options panel. The first thing I'm going to do is select the wall here at the top and then switch to the manage ribbon and I'm going to click Add to Set. And the reason is because I'm going to be modifying this wall as I'm looking at the different design options. This opens the Add to Design Option Set dialog, and I can choose the Design Option Set here in the dropdown. In this case, we just have one. And then I can choose the Design Options that I want to add the wall to. So I'm going to leave both of them selected and then click OK. Next, I'm going to change the active design option to option one. And I can do that here in the design options panel or on the status bar. Now I can model and add elements that are a part of this design option. So I'm simply going to create a few walls and a, I will create a rectangular style entry. I'm not going to pay too close of attention to the exact dimensions, but I am going to split this wall and then use the trim extend to corner to clean up these walls. And then I'll click modify to end the command. And now I have the design option one entry. I'll switch back to the manage tab and now I will change the active design option to option two. Next, I will model a wall for option two. This time I'm going to use the start end radius arc tool. And once again, I will clean up the wall corners here. and then I'll click Modify to end the command. Now, when I switch between the design options, you can see the alternative designs that we have modeled. Additionally, we can create dedicated views for each design option. For example, I will duplicate level one. I'm going to select Duplicate View, Duplicate, and then I'm going to rename it I'm going to rename it Level 1, Option 1. And I'll rename the other one to Level 1, Option 2. Mm -hmm. 
Now for option one, I will open the Visibility Graphic Overrides dialog. And since we are using design options, there's now a design options tab. And for the option one view, I will set the design option to option one. And then I'll switch to the option two view. And I'll set the design option to option two and then click OK. Now we have two views for one view for each design option. And we could continue by creating sheets and placing the views on sheets if you needed to create some type of output where you're going to be presenting these design options. But as you can see, you can control the active design option to see what's visible and then you can even choose the view and have a dedicated design option in each view. At some point, you need to arrive at your final design and you can go into the design options dialog and make that design option the primary design option. For example, if we decide to go with option two, what we can do is, so we're actually editing option one, so I'm going to click finish editing and then we can select option two and under option, click make primary and it is now the primary design option. You'll likely get a warning because there's a closer relationship between the primary design option and the main model that we can dismiss that warning by clicking in the dialog. And then once we're ready to accept the primary design option, we can select the option set and then click accept primary under option set. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to delete all secondary options in the design option set, as you can see here. So I'll click accept primary. And we're also going to get a dialog stating that we can delete the dedicated design option views. And we can make sure that's selected and then click delete. And now we are no longer using design options since we just had the one set. So we can click close. And now that primary design option is a part of our main model.